Good morning, guys. Um, today is <laughs> I don't know my iPad. It won't tell me. Oh, today is Wednesday, June fifth, and I think you can see that. Yes, it is the fifth of June. Um, I have to be at work at. Oh, well, I start work at nine o'clock, but I will be getting there early per usual. Um, and I am in the process of packing because me, Asia, and Josh are moving together. If you don't know, Asia's my daughter and Josh is my boyfriend. So we put an application last week. We haven't gotten approved yet, but I kind of got a strong feeling that we are going to get approved. Um, they ran our credit already, um, so I'm not worried about that and we're waiting on a background check so yeah um but it's it's definitely like 7 13 in the morning <laughs> and i gotta be at work at nine um but my job is right up the street from our house so it's not that far but i have already started packing um by the time this video goes up we'll probably already be moved into the house but just kind of want to show you guys like what I've already started doing um, and what I have left to do so yeah and don't judge me my room is a mess because this is what this process looks like so yeah be back here's all of my perfumes this is face wash and acne wipes and stuff for contacts some body scrub that I made, you know, baby powder that I want. Um, these are just a few of my candles. These two candles are burnt, or these three candles are burnt down. This one is still full. I just lit it for the first time yesterday and it smells so good. Um, this back here, if I can open it, well, you see the tan box box, tan packs box, but that's penny liners. This is um, a five in one one thingy whatever so i still have my socks to pack i still have all of my hot tools to pack those two drawers that i never belong to my sister these are my pads hair stuff my daughter's books more hair um rollers these are rods and those are i think sponge rollers or something like that um and here is hair products um i have to clean this off Y'all don't judge my bathroom because it's definitely an old bathroom. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to put my clothes in. And this is some of my hair products, shampoos, conditioners, because I make my own conditioner. Um, heat protectant, spray, good shit. So my dresser, my daughter's creams. This here is my ultimate favorite, favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. So gotta do all this these are socks that haven't been either have been matched and i ain't put them up or whatever so yeah i gotta do that all these drawers this has my sister and my daughter stuff in it my drawer her drawer my drawer gotta pack that up uh medicine drawer my drawer <sighs> the disgusting laundry and then this is my closet so I think in this box is nothing really but hangers. I don't exactly remember, but I got to take it down. This here, all of that is purses. And here is the hair for my brand that I've been trying out. Um, that's what's in there. And I think like my tripod for my mannequin head and my mannequin head. Um, you see what this stuff is right here. That's just common sense, this hair stuff. These are my clothes. These are some of Asia's stuff that's in here. Okay, so this box, I haven't bought any boxes because my dad literally has boxes like every fucking where in his house. So yeah, um, so this tote here has sheets and towels in it, um, pillowcases and stuff like that. That tote there has my clothes in it. This bag right here um, is everything from this tote and up here that I went through yesterday that I'm giving away. That right there is my scrubs for 
my first my home job um and then the stuff in here that stuff i can fit as well but like i said it all can't fit in there so i just put it in there this white bag here has everything that i have either bought or went through that i'm going to wear for my cruise me and josh are going on a cruise in august so <laughs> excuse me so yeah that's all in there that way i already have it separated um and the new stuff that i ordered is at the bottom and then the stuff that i already had in my closet is at the top um so yeah and then all of this here so this whole thing here is nothing but makeup and then that is nothing but lipstick it's nothing but lipstick in there obviously you see the down and stuff clothes and stuff this has paperwork and some of everything and the only drawer here that's dedicated to makeup is this one here and then this is my hair drawer right here so yeah and then my table my vanity table which is just extra messed up right now um so yeah actually let me turn this flash off okay i think that might be a little bit better so yeah so actually this table honestly consists of stuff that i wear to work so i have a uniform that i wear to work and then stuff that i just wash that i can't for some odd reason fit back in my drawers so yeah my boxers yes i wear male boxers don't judge me because my ass is fat um my work shirts that i have yet to even wear and this is my smile direct club box um yeah so you got a gist of that now underneath my bed which i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it goes all the way to the other side everything up under here is my um all of my shoes that i own for the most part with the exception of i think like three pair of shoes that couldn't fit in the drawers and i had to leave them in a the box in my closet this stuff here is asia's and then of course my bed i just got out of my bed so yeah um i have a lot to like pack up um you can literally tell i just woke up um i have a lot to pack up uh i gotta take all of those clothes off of those hangers and put them in the bags i'm buying um the velvet i think that's what they are the velvet um hangers so you know i can have those hangers and then yeah just having to like put my daughter's stuff up that is what this is and of course i'm going to keep you guys updated and take you through this journey with me so yeah Hope you guys enjoy it hello guys so i'm currently in my work vehicle um i'm actually on standby at work uh i just well i didn't just but i've been off of lunch since 1451 and i had subway and the sandwich was gross like i had subway last week but i had it um I think I was in Bridgeview. It was good last week. Like, it was so, so good. But where I'm at now, I'm by the medical district. That sandwich is gross. That sandwich is really nasty. So, yeah. Um, but work is going good so far. It is, if my watch would show me, it's 3.43. I told you that it's 15.43. I get off at 7.30. So yeah um yeah mm -hmm. that's my life so don't judge me my nails need to be done i'm actually liking this little hairstyle that i just decided to do because for the last two weeks i could just rant for a second the last two weeks you know i've been wearing my hair in this ponytail so like i wash my hair and then i would just put it in a ponytail like i would wash it i would comb like brush it out and then i just put it in a ponytail 
and you know black people here you know white people y'all blessed when it comes to the non tangle action in the middle of your head when you wash it and it air dries and then it poofs up so yeah um that's what it was doing it was poofing up like right up in here so i was like you know what forget this i can't do this no more let me turn this down i was like forget this i can't do this no more um i gotta find something to do to my hair so i did this little two strand twist situation i had no plans no intentions on taking it out um still not gonna take it out uh, if y'all hear noise in the background that's the other drivers on the dispatcher um so yeah I like it the way it is my sister told me yesterday I look like a dyke anyway so yeah she that, that's what she said even though I don't like that word but I look like a stud let me put it that way um, and I do, especially in this uniform. <laughs> I do. But Josh ain't complaining, so we don't care. I didn't care to begin with. Oh, I do have another rant. So some of you guys may know that I've been using Smile Direct Club. I started Smile Direct Club in March. I wanna say like the end the end of March or something like that. I know it was in March. Well, I got off track, ended up getting off track with my trays because one of the trays that I had probably about a month ago, it went up the, for the top teeth. I don't know if y'all can see this, but my gums are swelling right here. This, this is swelling. And it's also swelling underneath, like right behind it. And when I put them in, I was... I was in pain like my teeth were bleeding and everything I couldn't do it I was getting headaches all that stuff so I had to take it out and it was out for like a whole week and then I had to backtrack luckily my one of my play sisters well one of the ladies that I call my play sisters she uh she told me to save all of the trays instead of throwing them away so that's what I did I saved all of the trays so I had to backtrack like two trays before that one and start over and then I had to go back to that one now that one that I'm talking about specifically it was cutting me in the roof of my mouth and it didn't feel right so I just I was like no no so now it's doing it again this is about three or four weeks later and it's to a point now where I can't I can't eat nothing because anything that touches this or even when I bite down on something that little skin that's swollen it hurts really bad and then now my back teeth they feel like I have I don't know if you all have ever felt what a feeling coming out feels like and then you chewing down without the feeling in there and it's it's basically you know in an open space it makes sense in my head because it's happened to me before. That's what my the, my back teeth feel like, but I ain't got no cavities. So, yeah, I just... I, I'm over this my direct club shit because it I can't. Like, I'm trying. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm actually supposed to be almost done. My last tray will be in August. I, I don't think I'm going to end up making it in the end my bottom teeth are shifting back so I I don't yeah this ain't this ain't working this ain't working so something gonna have to give either they gonna refund me my money something I don't know but yeah I can't do it um so yeah that's my smile direct club rant it it doesn't wearing them don't bother me uh taking them out don't bother me you know sleeping in them don't bother me but when they start piercing at my skin and cutting my skin and that when i brush my teeth my teeth bleed 
and you know you leaving them out for like two or three days it sets you back i can't i can't do it so yeah no i'm not doing that but yeah i'm still sitting here on standby i'm gonna probably start heading to this pickup because um it's a mighty long way from where i am and actually i should definitely be trying to get there because i got traffic to fight through so yeah i probably need to be trying to get there asap i gotta pee though so i'm gonna let my dispatcher know i gotta go to the bathroom but yeah yep that's my life um guess i'll see you guys when i get home still haven't heard anything from this place yet i'm antsy um i just want to know something you know i i just want to know something because i don't like being in suspense i don't like surprises i i i can't this is this honestly out of everything that i've ever had to deal with in my life waiting to know if we got approved for this place is it's difficult this is so hard like this is the worst and josh is just so calm and i'm just like i need to know now because i'm i'm ready to pack just ready to pack like so you all saw the little